Hmm. Huh. In the previous world, wails and howls sounded wherever I went. But it is peaceful here. It is, to be sure, unsatisfying. But it is acceptable in its own way. Hmm. From here, one can view the entire town. This reminds me... Reminds me of those days when my life was bound by mortal law. When I would gaze down from that hill. I enjoy the view from here myself. Huh? How to best put it, it's almost as if one could get one's hands on any part of the town. Ah, uh, I don't mean anything strange by that. Uh. Um, uh, are you ignoring me? Surely you are not attempting to speak to me. Well, I mean, there's no one else here. Is there something you want? Want? No, you were just gazing forlornly at the scenery, and I wondered what might be wrong. Is it so unusual to gaze at the scenery? Nothing, nothing at all. It was just a thought. Hmm. Stop right there! Upon the orders of Marlow Median, I stand before you as the Scales of Balance. This man, his clothes and his actions... They resemble the people who appeared a while back. Could he be with them? Do you know of the guilds? Of course! I too belong to one of the guilds. And? My name is Marlone Median. I am the Marshal of Eskimali. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You are the Marshal? Yes, the Marshal of Eskimali and none other. Hmm. They did say they were there on orders of Marlone Median. Uh... This man is as soft as the very town itself. It seems that the five warriors I sensed were not simply guild leaders. Are you in need of assistance? If you wouldn't mind, please allow me to help. Nicola Adele. Eleanor Gloria. I am searching for others who can equal them. I see. And just what do you plan to do when you find them? That does not concern you. No, I believe it very much concerns me. Huh. Depending on your answer, I may have a word or two to say. <laughs> I must apologize for my impropriety. I should not have underestimated you. And allow me to state again, Marlon Median, you must battle me. Though I would prefer to decline your offer, I'm afraid that I may not be able to. This world has already betrayed me twice. I pray that this time my expectations will be met. Now battle me! I would prefer to decline your offer. Greetings. Everything is for the sake of balance. What is happening here? Visible or not, the stars always shine. Still, I'll sparkle on. Accept your fate. I'll show you something nice. Jewelry for you is my turn now. One of a kind, like you. 
Visible or not, the stars always shine. A worthy performance. Have a look over this new contract. You will soon learn. Mm, let me take what the lead. What is this? A bit now. Couldn't meet my quota. Now a nightmare begins. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Weakness, the power. My apologies. Heaven may abandon you, but I do not. Don't resist. This is the devil's may abandon you, but I will. Grateful. Debase yourself! Well, I suppose there's no winning for me. Surely this is not the end. Oh, how incredible! This power of yours would be enough to raise the town! You need not worry. I take no pleasure in tormenting the weak. The Sunia might be large, but there aren't many fierce enough to contend with you. I have already met two, and a third is standing before me at this very moment. <laughs> ah, I, I didn't think it could be true, but have you already fought with Nicola and Eleanor? That I have, but our battles did not reach a proper conclusion. Will you carry this dance through to the very end? Hmm, a part of me would certainly like to oblige, but... Oh? If you don't object, I would like to ask your name. Urias Formond. I surmise, Urias, that you have come here from another world. Is that correct? What makes you so sure? It's that if you were from this world, you would not think of challenging Nicola Adele, Eleanor Gloria, or me, myself. <laughs> think what you like. You probably don't understand this land, which is why you act so violently. And what would it mean to understand this land? This place, Asunia, is governed by a council of five guilds. The relationship of those five guilds is complicated, though, and all sorts of interests are intertwined. One faux pas is enough to set off conflicts. We therefore attempt to strike a delicate balance, and we've been successful for decades. And what of it? That is no reason for me to refrain from battle. That may be how you see things, but it's a very large reason for me. The balance we have is complicated. What do you think would happen if I were to be injured while battling against you? A hostile guild would jump at that opportunity, and once that happened, the other guilds wouldn't stay still. That is to say, the balance would fall to pieces. All will fall to pieces in the end. Am I incorrect? That may be true in a sense, but we want to ensure peace by maintaining this balance. That's why I can't fight with you. Well, that's ultimately nothing more than my opinion, though. I doubt that Nicola is thinking that far ahead. Huh. Your concerns do not matter to me. 
fight, my lone median. That would be unacceptable. <laughs> this overwhelming magical force is somehow different from that of Eleanor Gloria. I cannot comprehend. How can you have such might and yet refrain from battle? Because every time I battle, it shortens my life. And besides, now isn't the time for that, Urias. Huh? But if you remain in this land, your wishes are sure to come true before long. There might be no guards here, but I pray you find what you seek. Now please, take your leave. How unexpected. If only for a second you were able to overwhelm me. It seems that I must remember your name. Haha! <laughs> I will consider it an honor. And I shall hope that your words are more than idle talk. Farewell! This world has seemed soft to me. But perhaps there is revelry to be had here after all. <laughs>